How's it going guys? Mike here from Mike Visuals. I'm a travel filmmaker and today I'm gonna to be showing you how I've been using Premiere Rush to color grade my travel videos. The clips we're going through are from my recent trip to Reunion. If you haven't heard of Reunion, I don't blame you. It's a tiny island in the Indian Ocean and it's the second most dangerous place in the world for shark attacks. So you will definitely not be seeing any ocean shots on this tutorial. Anyway, let's jump into Adobe Rush. All right, let's jump into this rush edit of the waterfall. So as you can see, I've brought in some waterfall clips. So I've created the sequence and I've quickly put together a little short edit of the waterfall sequence. So we've got two underwater shots revealing the destination and then it goes on to revealing some subject shots within the waterfall. All right, let's start with the first shot, which is of the waterfall and then it goes underneath the water, revealing the light rays underneath. All right, so I'm gonna go to the color grading panel, click on presets, and then I'm gonna click built in presets and Rush has these awesome presets already made. So I'm gonna go through these individually and select the one that fits this scene the best. All right, let's try Cinematic, Film, SL Fuji. So I think SL Fuji looks the best out of all of them for this scene. All right, so I'm gonna go and click Edit and it'll bring up other tools I can use like Exposure, Contrast, Highlights, Shadows, and this will help me grade the scene even further. Okay, so we wanna keep the details in the waterfall. So we don't want the actual whites being blown out. So we're gonna reduce the exposure a little bit and play around with the highlights. So we're gonna drop the highlights, drop the shadows so we get some texture off the rock and bump up the contrast. With the SL Fuji preset, it made it quite cool. So we're gonna make it a bit warm. So bring up the temperature, add a little bit of sharpening as the GoPro comes out quite soft. I always add a little bit of a vignette to give it a more cinematic look. So add a vignette and feather it so it's not so harsh. We can also play around with the vibrancy and saturation just to make the greens and the blues pop. Awesome, that looks great. So moving on to the next shot, the most important thing is to match up those underwater scenes. We wanna make sure the transition is seamless. So matching up the colors is really important. The water at this waterfall is kind of green. So we've got to bear that in mind when editing. So we're gonna click on that clip and go to the built-in presets again. So going through these, SL Night looks the best. It gives a nice blue hue, but like I said, we're gonna match up the green from the previous shot. So starting off again, we're gonna adjust the exposure, bump up the contrast, reduce the highlights slightly so the rays come in a lot more, and increase the shadows so we get a bit more detail. And temperature is a really important one here, so we want to match the greens with the other shot. So we're gonna make it much more warmer by bumping up the temperature. And we're going to play around with the tint to get that murky green look. So we're going to reduce it to about minus seven to make it much greener. We're going to add the vibrance to nine and we're going to reduce the saturation to 72 so it's not so overpowering. And yet again, add in a nice vignette for that cinematic look. And as you can see the before and after, I think we've done a pretty good job. All right, waterfall color grade done. Time to jump in on the drone stuff. So the drone shot I'm gonna be using is one of my favorite sunsets we had in Reunion. We got the drones up, there was rolling cloud and the sun just burst through the fog and it just erupted with color. So we're gonna jump straight into that and get color grading. All right, time to edit this drone shot. Droning in Reunion was one of my favorite things to do and this shot is absolutely incredible. I was standing on the tip of the rock and Mitch was flying past me as this amazing sunset was occurring behind me. All right, let's jump into it. So we're gonna to go to the color panel, click built-in presets, and my go-to preset is always the SL Fuji. It just gives such a nice first layer to color from. And then we're gonna click edit. So the image right now is looking kind of flat. So we wanna increase the exposure, but not too much so the whites in the clouds don't get overblown. Decrease the contrast. And I think we're gonna bring down the highlights to about minus 29. All right, shadows. I always play around with my shadows. So for this shot, I'm gonna bump it down to about minus 31. We want to have a nice silhouette look, however we don't want to make it too dark so we lose all of the detail of the rock. So minus 31 I think is just right. To complement the sunset colours we're going to bump up the temperature to about 10 just to give it that warmer look. Okay saturation, this is going to be fun. The key thing with saturation is you don't want to push it too much because you'll get banding in your colours so don't increase it too much, keep it at a subtle level. So we're going to bump up saturation just so the sky explodes behind me and I think that looks good. Okay, sharpening next. I always add a bit of sharpening just because the Mavic 2 Pro gives quite a flat image. So adding sharpening is always a good idea. And of course, vignette, just to give it that cinematic look, I'm gonna add a vignette and feather it out. And this is the before and after. So as you can see, the sky just explodes in colors behind me and I'm really happy with this grade. 
So when I'm using Rush on the go, editing stories, getting little short edits out, I don't have time to create presets every time. So in Rush, you can actually create presets. So I'm gonna create a preset and I'm just gonna call it Drone Sunset. And that means I can just use this preset for my other drone shots when I come to grade it. So when I come back to Rush, if it's on my iPad, my iPhone, that preset will be there and I can just simply click it and it will be applied to the scene. Color grade done. I really hope you enjoyed that. A super easy and effective way to color grade your films. As a travel content creator, I've been absolutely loving Premiere Rush. I can edit on my phone, my iPad, and I can even transfer those Premiere Rush files onto the PC and dig in a bit deeper. And I guess that's all for me, but we'd love to see what you guys are creating. So make sure you download Premiere Rush in the link below and create something. Use the hashtag maybe Rush, and we'd love to see what you guys are doing. I'll catch you in the next one.